Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can install your own CRM system and we are going to use one of the most comprehensive solutions on the market and the best thing is it's open source which means that it is completely free. And here's the thing, this solution is being used by big companies worldwide so that means that it is well able to compete against even paid CRM solutions, you know. So today I'm going to show you how to install and configure this CRM system on your server so that you can save yourself a ton of money by avoiding to use solutions such as Salesforce. Now Salesforce are charging 25 US dollars for the basic version, right up to 75 dollars. And this is per month and also per user for the pro version. So with Salesforce, it would normally cost you a whopping 900 US dollars per user that you have to pay each and every year. And again, the solution that we are going to install today is unlimited, which means that regardless of how many users you want to add, it doesn't matter, it will still be free. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so our very first step is to take care of our hosting and domain name registration. And for this, click on the link in the description below where it says get hosting now. So click on that link and this will bring you here to the Hostinger website. I personally host all of my websites with Hostinger and the main reasons are because they are very affordable, reliable, but you also get a lot of extra features like for instance, free domain name, SSL certificate and security protection. And all of that for the price of just a cup of coffee per month. As you can see here, you can get this top quality service for just a few dollars per month. Now to get this service, all we have to do is to click on start now and click select. And from here, we have to select our billing cycle. And as you can see, you can save up to 71% depending on the billing cycle. So if you select 48 months, you can save up to 71%, 24 months up to 67%, and if you select one year, up to 71%. So you don't have to select 48 months. By default, it will be selected up here, but you can go ahead with 24 months, maybe 12 months, or if you just want to try things out, you can select one month as well. So let me just select 12 months for now. And if we scroll down the page a little bit, you will see how much you're actually saving. So the normal price is $143. This is what you would normally pay for this. And you get a discount of 71%. So you save $102 altogether. So then they're going to add taxes to this. And the total cost is $51.51. So that's for the full year, guys. $51.51. So that includes free SSL certificate, free domain name, free Cloudflare protection, free setup. And not mention here also free backup because you get your website backed up every single day. So if anything happens, you can always restore back to a previous point in time. And all of this for a small cost of just $50. This is insane, guys. This is absolutely fantastic, you know. And the quality of service here is absolutely outstanding and excellent. As you can see, excellent customer reviews. And I couldn't agree more with this, you know. So then next, you're going to enter your email address right here. Select your payment methods. And then I'm going to give you a coupon code to save even more money. So 51, 51 at the moment. Select, I have a coupon code. Simply type in Mr. Web Reviews, all in capital letters, and then click on the plus sign. So as you can see, it's only going to cost you $47.82 for the whole year. And then after that, all you have to do is just to submit the payment. Very good. And now that you've registered with them, you can go back to the home page and click on login. Enter your email address and password. And this is going to bring you to the hosting admin panel. So from here, the first step is to claim our free domain. So as you can see here, we get a free domain name with our plan. So all we have to do basically is to click on this. So let's click on claim domain. And right here, you're going to type in the domain name that you'd like to register. So for instance, your domain name, and then you can select the extension. So .com obviously is the most popular one, but you can select among a few different options. So we have .click, .net, .info, dot host what do we have again uh, dot me dot store dot xyz dot tech dot online so let's go with dot com anyways you know and then after that all you have to do is to check availability and if it's available it'll be registered just like that in one click now if the domain name is already registered you'll get a notification that's going to tell you this domain name is already registered and you might have to change the domain name for something else and try a different variation 
And once you have your domain name registered, it will appear like this here at the bottom. So you could have, for instance, MrWebReviewsTutorials.com and then you'll be able to set up your hosting. So this is the next step. We need to set up our hosting. And for this, we're going to click on this button here. So let's click on Setup. And from here, all we have to do is to click on Start Now. It's a simple five-step process. Here, feel free to select any of those options. I'm just going to skip for now. Same here, you can select the platform that you want to use. So we're going to take care of this later on in this tutorial. So I'm going to skip this again. From here, you can claim your free domain. So we've done that already. Now you need to select your domain name. So the domain name you just registered should appear here. If it doesn't, click on the drop down menu and then select it manually and then click select. And finally here, you need to select your nearest server. So the nearest data center from your location or your target audience location. So as you can see here, you can select among those two few options here. So I'm personally based in Ireland, so in Europe. So I'm going to select this one here, click change. And then all you have to do after this is click finish setup and we're all done already. And now let's install WordPress on our server. And for this, we're going to the hosting section right here and we're going to click on manage. And this is going to bring us to the admin panel here. And as you can see, we have all the different features and options here to customize and configure our server. So I have WordPress, order, accounts, emails, domain, website, files, database, advanced and others. So it might seem a little bit overwhelming, all these options here, but don't worry, we are only going to use one of them which is this one here, website. So what we're gonna do is just click on auto installer. Very good, and from here, we're gonna go to this section here, other, so I'll click on select. And right here, we're gonna select our application. So this one is called V Tiger. So V and then like a tiger, like the animal. So select this and then click select. And then enter a website title. So for instance, CRM with Mr. Web Reviews. Here, create a username and password. So I'm going to type something here very quickly. So there you go. And now click on advanced and make sure you select HTTPS and don't put anything in this field. Leave this one blank and then click next. And from here again, click install. And that's basically it. So it's going to start the installation now. And there you go. Once your installation is completed, you'll be brought back to the screen and you will find it here in the installed applications. So all we have to do now is basically click on this link and open that in a new tab. And from this screen, simply enter your username and password that we just created and click sign in. Now, VTiger is a very comprehensive solution, so you can add and remove modules as you wish. So as you can see, by default, you would need the contact management, but you can also add marketing, sales automation, support, invoicing and project management. So just for our demo here, we're going to install everything. So select all and then scroll down the page and then click next. Now set up your preferences, so your currency, your language and the date and time as well, and then click get started. And there you go. Welcome to your VTiger dashboard. So as you can see, this is a blank canvas at the moment because there is no data, no information in the system at the moment. But let me show you very quickly how this works. So on the left hand side, you have your menu here to access all the different sections of the CRM system. So you have marketing, sales, inventory, support, project and all the tools and also all the main settings to set it up. On the right hand side, you have the quick create items so you can create contact, organization, project, etc, etc. Next to it, you have your calendar. So you have a quick overview of your week, month or days ahead. And here you have all the reports. So you can create any types of reports or so sales reports, campaign reports, etc, etc. And then here you have you have your task management. So you can prioritize by high, medium, low, and then you can even run a few searches. And then if we go back to our dashboard, you can customize this as well. You can add as many widgets as you want. So let's add this together, for instance. OK, so I'm going to add this one this one, this one, this one, and that one as well. So clearly at the moment, there is nothing to see because we haven't entered any information yet. So what we're going to do now is to take care of our essential settings so that you'll be ready to use this CRM system. So first, we're going to go back to our menu section, settings, CRM settings. So the first step is to add your users. So you might be the only one using it. So in which case, this is fine the way it is. Otherwise, click on user management, click on users. And this is where you can add active users. And for this, all you have to do is click add user and fill out all these details. Once you're done, click save. And that's basically it. Okay. 
and then you have user roles as well so if you click on this as you can see this is more designed for big companies multinationals as you can see with ceo vice president sales manager salesperson and so on now you might want to rename this and make it easier more user friendly for yourselves maybe you want the warehouse maybe you want the sales team maybe you want the support team and so on so you can change this and tweak this around based on your business structure basically okay after this we have groups as well so what are groups well, basically, once you've created your roles, you can then create groups. So you have the sales team here, for instance, if we edit this, as you can see, this one includes the sales manager and the salesperson. If we have a look at the marketing group here, this one includes the site owner, the CEO and the vice president. Now, again, once you've renamed your roles, they will appear differently here and it'd be easier for you to structure those groups. Now, a CRM system relies heavily on sending and receiving emails. So the next step is to set up your SMTP server. So for this, we go to configuration, outgoing server. And from here, all you have to do is to click edit. And now we can enter our details. So click on the drop down menu and select your mail platform. So it could be Gmail, could be Hotmail, could be Office 365, Yahoo or something else. Now we are going to use Hostinger because this is our hosting provider. This is where we're going to create our email address and link it to VTiger. So let's click on others. And now let's go and create an email address with Hostinger. So we go back to our backend here and let's scroll down as you can see we have emails here. So let's click on this and let's create a new email address. So we're going to look for our own account here. So this is the one here. So just click on it. And all we have to do from here is click add email account and we can create our new email address. So for instance, you could create sales at mrwebreviews.com, type in your password and then click create. And there you go guys, just in a few seconds, we have a new email address created and set up. And now we are ready to copy and paste all those details over onto our CRM system. So click on the email address here. Now we go to our CRM system. We copy this in place of our username, just like this, and then paste your password as well. And then we need to enter the server name. So this one will be exactly like this. So I'll leave that in the description below. So SSL semicolon forward slash forward slash SMTP dot hostinger dot com semicolon four six five. So if you're in doubt where you can find those details, if you go back to your hosting account here, configuration settings, as you can see, we have the outgoing server SMTP. So this is basically the address here, SMTP dot hostinger dot com. The port is four six five and it's SSL or TLS. And this is what we're using here, SSL, okay? And this is basically how you input that into the system. Now you're gonna copy and paste your email once more here, just like this. And don't forget to tick this box here, requires authentication, and then click save. And there you go, guys. You are now ready to use VTiger CRM system. Now, this is not a tutorial on how to use VTiger, obviously, but what I'll do, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can consult their documentation. Thank you.